everyone. Welcome to Celebration Kids Online. We are so excited to have you with us today and happy Easter everyone. We're going to spend a bit of a moment celebrating together. So get up, get ready to dance around and celebrate today. Today, we're going to look at a story about Jesus, why he died and rose again, and why today we get to celebrate that together. When Jesus lived on earth, he showed love to everyone he met. Many people were amazed at the way Jesus treated others, and they started following him to get to know him better. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but he knew he had to die on the cross to take the punishment for the wrong things you and I do. After Jesus died, his body was wrapped in cloth and placed in a tomb that looked like a cave. A large stone rolled in front of the tomb to seal it shut. Jesus' friends were very sad that he had to die. Hmm, hmm, I wonder, do you think Jesus stayed in the tomb? Hmm. Well, guess what? He didn't. There was an earthquake, <laughs> trembling, and then an angel came and rolled the big stone away. Some friends came to the tomb later that day. When they got there, do you think they were surprised? Yes. They realized Jesus' body was gone. An angel told the women that Jesus was not there because he was alive. The women celebrated and told everyone this great news. How amazing is Jesus and what he has done for us and that we can celebrate that today and every day that Jesus is alive. Woohoo! Let's have a dance party. We're going to celebrate this truth by remembering a memory verse this week. Come and do it with me. He is not here, but he has risen just as he said he would be. Matthew 28 verse 6. All right, everyone, it's your turn now. Let's do it together. He is not here, but he is alive just as he said he would be. Matthew 28, verse 6. Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me so I can have new life with you. Thank you. Today is a day we can celebrate your victory and the victory we now have in you. Amen. I am so thankful for what Jesus has done. And he is my Lord and my Saviour. If today... You would like to make Jesus your Lord and Saviour? You can say this prayer with me now. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done. I ask you to come into my life as my Lord and Saviour. I choose to follow you. Thank you for helping me. Amen. Yay! If you said that prayer today for the first time, congratulations. You are now following Jesus and he's there to help you every single day. Make sure you tell mum and dad what you've done today so they can also celebrate with you. And mum and dad, if you'd like any resources to help your child on this incredible journey, download the Bible app for kids, which has great stories and fun activities that the kids can join along with. 
This week, everyone, please make sure you check out our We Will Celebrate Kids Instagram page, as well as our church Facebook page. There'll be some activities that you kitties can do with your families and have lots of fun this week. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. We love you. We're so glad that you could be a part of our Easter celebration today. Have a great rest of your day and a fantastic week. See you next week. Bye.